Hello comrades and welcome back to the Exiled Adventures. I am Commie Fritz the Great and today is a very special episode, uh, the big fifth episode of the series. And one thing I should probably note is that in the preceding days after episode four, I did a bit of caving. And if I just press the V button here, you will see that I obtained uh, some iron armor, yes. Very lucky indeed, of course, I was struggling by getting attacked by mobs um, off camera, off recording software, off Bandicam. Um, and um, yeah, I explored a bit further out into one or two more biomes, and I found some steaks, a nice juicy steak. And I killed a few more spiders, well, I actually found two spiders, and they yielded some string so I could make a bow, and... I found also some dead skeletons, which meant I could uh, get some arrows. Now, I have five seeds here, so I guess I could do something with those. But, uh, I'm guessing a small house tour is in order. Yes, as you've noticed, I finished my mountainside chalet. Uh, so, let's go and investigate. Well, here we have my little upper room, uh, chests, bed crafting table and all of your other necessary gubbins and if you look at this something that I'm particularly pleased with uh, the smoking deck up here we have a, another fantastic view of the mountain below us keep left clicking sorry I'm using uh, the wide mouse today As you can see, very nice. Um, I managed to work out that you could mount torches on top of uh, fence posts. One thing that I didn't realise was that you couldn't actually jump over them. Slightly disconcerting, especially when one might want to uh, kill myself. Oops, I need to shut the gate. Okay, I'll try not to make too much noise with the mouse, but I'll do my best. And... Down the ladder. Uh, I fenced off this area so I didn't just fall straight off after I came out of my house. And down here... Once I've... Uh, that's a slight problem I need to sort out, but there's nothing much I can do about that. Uh, there's, there, this is the area that we built in the previous episode. And it completely finished off the exterior staircase. The whole upper room is slightly offset. It's one block shy of the e the edge there, and two blocks shy there, um, because I had to fit that exterior staircase. I didn't want it looking too regular, obviously that would be boring. And I have here some more general stuff, a uh, chest, large chest, spare things, and all of your amenities. Right, I've also fitted a trap door. Managed to remember to right click this time. And if I can actually get down it, there we go. I can go have a look at what I've been doing outside of the house. Almost fell down there. This, uh, as I'm sure you'll have guessed, is a gatehouse. I don't want any unfriendly mobs just randomly scaling the ladder. And you'll notice, obviously, uh, once again, that I've called my house the Berghof. Uh, this is the German translation of the word Eagle's Nest, or Hawk's Roost, whatever you want to call it. And quite coincidentally, it's also the name of Mr. Hitler's house. But of course, for uh, political and um, other such reasons, we'll uh, just attempt to uh, gloss over that. And let's go and have a look over here. The torches are giving off a nice sooty odour there. I'm getting used to uh, punching the spacebar with my thumb. It's not going too well. And, oops, if I just scale this. Um, see that I've expanded my farm quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to get about harvesting all of this stuff very soon. So that should be good. Uh, I'm just going to pop around here. I noticed I had five seeds in my inventory, so... Uh, axe. 
I can go ahead and just simply just plant them down here. Like that, that's all five planted. We are certainly good to go. I would have um, added an extra plot for some multis here, but I'm, unfortunately you can't actually uh, plant anything here because when it grows, uh, the wheat chaff actually interferes with the collision mesh of the torch, which is slightly annoying, but I guess it's a rather simple program that we're running here. It's Java. Uh, anyway, um, I thought you might want to take a look from a distance of, at the, the book off. So, oh yes, I should probably mention that uh, I kidnapped a cow. How you doing? Good? Yeah, he's good. Right, uh, I'm not too sure why I did that. I guess it was just an impulsive thing. Anyway, it feels good. And if we just go up here, and we can probably take a slightly higher vantage point up here. There it is. Um, the narrowness of that upper room makes it difficult to see, but I guess if we just clamber onto the, those uh, rocks over there, we'll be fine. Yeah, that's a bit better. That looks rather nice, I'm quite pleased with that, but uh, I must state, before we continue with our exiled adventure, uh, I am not a builder of any sort, I am most definitely an explorer, although for obviously for a first house in a world, I'd always like to take some time to kind of make it good, because obviously I will be living there for quite some time, so I may as well give it my best shot, and that's what I've done here. Uh, I think you'll agree that it looks quite snazzy. Uh, I hope you agree, because I d did spend quite a lot of time on what that squid doing. I did spend quite a lot of time on it. Um, it could have been a bit more sophisticated, for obvious reasons, but that's not really a necessity. Now, um, what I was planning to do today was do a little bit of caving now that I've got some food and well I've got some more protection in the form of my iron armor so what I was thinking was that I'd make a few preparations now with the ample amount of food I've left I can stay in there for a couple of days uh, before we start our mini expedition so if you'll join me, and we shall once again uh, climb the ladder up to the Berghof and get started with our preparations. Now, um, in the recent couple of days, in the break, Kerbal Space Program point twenty four, uh, so a full release, not a half release like the, the one before point twenty three point five. So there, one breath. Um, that came out. Uh, I'm going to be down it in a day or two. Not in too much of a hurry because I said I wanted to give KSP a break for a while. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But um, I will do a quick kind of musical episode. Nothing really special for the culmination of the asteroid redirect episode that we started at the very beginning of season two, actually. So, uh, hold on a minute. Stick. Okay, that's fine. What we can do is, in our personal crafting inventory, when I have uh, cut down a few on the way over to the mine, I can then just make a couple more emergency torches at will. First, however, I need to just make a few of these sticks. Oh god. Right click on the wood and then another four over there. That's good. And that is how we do that. Uh, and then I could now just do the old clicky business. Much more satisfying playing with the mouse. I mean, 
I actually think that could be enough torches. We'll just have to lump ourselves with a slightly shorter spell in the caverns. But uh, our preparations are complete. Um, I'd quite like to actually. We'll leave that. Pickaxe will do fine. I'd just quite like to just explore what we have more than anything else before we kind of start doing anything else. And I'm not too sure why I have a dandelion. Put that in there and stack that on the existing one. And go to sleep. I will see you in the morning. Morning is broken and we are ready to go. So, without further ado, uh, before you crash into your doorframe, uh oh, melted into the door, is to leave the house and make sure I've got everything. My armor's on, that's all good. Let's go. Send the first of our many uh, sets of ladders. Ideally I would have liked a uh, kind of elevator shaft or a protective thing covering my tracks, but uh, obviously you can't have everything. I don't want to melt the door again. Anyway, uh, let's go. We'll just traverse this lake. And I haven't really got a specific cave to explore, but I guess we can start with... Ooh, why can't I get up here? Don't you mess with me, game. I know more than you. Oops. Right, nothing but the incessant patting of the spacebar going on here. Usually it wouldn't be so loud, but uh, I've, got, I've got the reverberations of the plastic instead of having two fingers over the end of the space bar, so it's a bit louder. And here is our old hidey hole. Always good to remember where you came from. I've uh, bricked it up with cobblestone and then dirt, so uh, you can't really miss it. Okay, let's get going. Um, uh, we've got enough cobblestone just to brick up any exits in the tunnels and all that kind of thing. Woo! Oh no. Oh, that was lucky. Up here we go. Nice serene little kind of area going on here. Everything seems to be nice and peaceful. Everything but the difficulty level on Minecraft at the moment. I'm looking for a cave entrance. It'll be quite embarrassing if I can't find it. But hopefully we should be fine now. Ah, there it is. Is that it? Yes. I think it is. Yeah, there it is. Marvis. And a bit of a lag spite, I think I'm getting the next few chunks of loading in. But yeah, we'll just hang around here for a bit. Uh, so I've been exploring this cave for a bit. Um, and I found a few mobs I should probably eat some steak. That should do us for now. And other such nasties. But I think now that... And with you guys, I should be safe. And I've got a couple of torches. Actually, what I should probably do is move my torches to here. Pickaxe, because I'm going to need that most. I usually try to order my tools in the order that I might have to use them. So, actually, I'm going to put the compass aside for now. I'm going to move everything over one. And put the bow here, because I might encounter some mobs, obviously. Let us descend into the crater. Ooh, this is spooky. Under usual circumstances, I would like to uh, dig out the coal as I find it, but 
I think, once we've explored this full, the, full, the fullest extent of all of the caverns, we can start doing stuff. Now, uh, I got this farm, because, as I think you'll see, I've uncovered a small cavern. Well, it's probably... Ooh. It's quite a, a large cavern, I think, but... It's still a cavern nonetheless. And I don't particularly fancy that creeper uh, working out that he can actually climb the stairs. Because I did provide him with a, a rather handy escape route. If he feels like it. I don't think he likes the light, if we're going to be honest. But... I'm not too sure what to do here in this situation. I can either... Hmm. Well, let's try out my uh, archery skills. Boom! In the face! In your face! There he goes again. You coming back for more? You want a piece of me? Are you sure you want a piece of me? Because they're going back now. Oh, I'm it. Okay. Damn it. There, you go. there he goes. That bitch is dead. Collected my arrows once more, and, uh... I see... I think there's another creeper. Actually down there. How many arrows have I got? Two arrows. Okay, this should be interesting. I don't particularly fancy... a brush with a skeleton at the moment. And that's unusual. I can actually see light under there. I don't remember... Okay, let's go and check where the other cave came out. You'll notice that I uh, took t one of two uh, entrances. Sorry for the dead air there, but uh, no matter. One thing that I hope you pay attention to is the fact that... Uh, an easy, surefire way of never getting lost in a cavern such as this one. Cave, rather. Cave, tunnel system, catacomb. Is to remember that as you go in to your cave system, always place your torches up on the right-hand side. So on the right-hand wall. So, uh, when you look to return... Your torches will always be on your side. So it's a surefire way of knowing that you are in fact going the right way, the correct way. So that's my Minecraft Exile Adventures tip of the day. You can guarantee not getting lost now a bit. Now I'm a bit concerned about the fact that there could be skeletons in the way, so... I think this could have been the cavern in which I lit up. Let's see, let's... have a butchers at this. Let's hope Major Tom's got his running legs on. This could get hairy. Ooh. And I think... I'm right. Uh, no, hasn't really improved my visibility much more. And... I can't see any life forms. This is interesting. It looks like an empty chamber. I think it is. I can see iron in the roof. But I want to make sure there are no other ulterior tunnels branching off. But I don't think there are, so let's go ahead and place more torches and lighten this place up a bit. 
Perfect. Okay, let's get mining. Uh, there could only be one block of coal or, sorry, uh, iron in here. But that's not really an issue. I have enough iron at the moment. And coal isn't something we need to worry about particularly. Oh, aha. This is interesting. When I, uh... Hmm. When I, um finish mining this, I'm going to check which layer I'm on, because it could give me an indication of how deep I am down, and what kind of ores will spawn in which areas. It's a hell of a lot of coal in there, I have to say. This is the greatest hoard of ore, or useful ore, I've found in the game so far. Coal and iron, obviously being my favourites, as it were. But, I'm trying not to keep you guys waiting in the dead air. So, I need my pickaxe again, don't I? Right. How many? Oh, we've got five iron ore blocks. That's good, and if there's more iron in the ceiling, we'll have to uh, think about a way of mining that out later. Ow, I've literally fallen down the, my own hole that I dug. That's pretty embarrassing. You always bring a fully functioning pickaxe down a mine in case you get stuck and you'll have to use something to dig yourself out. So on that note, don't ever skip on the quality of your tools. Right, that's the extent of the uh, mining. Twenty minutes has sure, well, is sure going quickly at the moment. as we trudge our way back up to the top. And I'm getting a bit of lag, not too bad. Could do without it, but can't have everything, as I've said. What I'd really like to do, uh, I'm, on, I'm running Windows 8, which is quite good in my mind. It's quite a simple operating system that I've grasped the basics of very quickly, having spent the rest of my computing life using Windows XP. I made the transition in April 2013, and um, I managed to get to grips with the OS quite quickly, with haste. And um, yeah, that is the culmination of our mining excursion. Oh, sh was I attacked? Uh... Were the... Oh, a creeper blew me up! Whoa, that was scary. Uh, well, on that note, thank you very much for watching, and, uh, wow, I will see you next time on Minecraft.